Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today I'm doing the third jigsaw puzzle technique on this ribbons color gradient jigsaw puzzle. I had randomly assigned different techniques to these three jigsaw puzzles. I already previously did the rainbow feathers and that was the full flip technique. Then I did the water drop as the full sort technique. And finally now we have the ribbons. I haven't opened it, it still has a plastic wrap on it. And this will be the build as I sort technique. Basically, as I go through trying to sort pieces, I also try to build as much of the jigsaw puzzle as possible. I have a feeling the red, yellow, and green will go pretty good, but I think the pink, purple, and blue, I'll end up sorting out most of those pieces. When all is said and done, my prediction is that I will feel the full sort technique will be best for a color gradient style jigsaw puzzle that doesn't have a lot of image. My build as I sort technique I find works best on busier images. Now what's interesting is my friend Nicole has these same three puzzles. By the way, they're from Arrow Puzzles. They're colorful series and they're all 1000 pieces. She's just been assembling them as she normally does. She does a full sort and then a build. So I've been comparing my times to her to see if there are significant differences in the way that we're achieving our times, perhaps it's to do with the techniques because she isn't changing how she's assembling the puzzles, but obviously I am. And so that may help us to deduce which technique is faster for a color gradient jigsaw puzzle. So I'm excited to see how I do. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you an update on the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in Spain. We have a team and a team name. I'm so excited about that. But in the meantime, and for the love of puzzles, let's get to doing my build as I sort technique on this ribbons color gradient jigsaw puzzle. Right from the start, I decided I was going to do my build as I sort as thoroughly as possible. And very quickly I realized this was not gonna work quite well. So I concentrated on transition pieces, pieces that had more than one color. So like pieces that had the yellow and red or yellow and green, the blue pieces with like the brighter pinkish or any piece that had like a bright pop of white. I also tried to do as much as the border as I could. Well, let me just tell you how many times I wanted to stop and just sort all the pieces, but no, I plugged along. I did just pile up most of the blue pieces in the end because there was just too much to try to focus on and try to build as I sort. Also pieces that pretty much were just solid color, I piled those up as well. It was just too difficult to figure out where they went. But I very quickly realized that my build as I sort technique was not going to be efficient for a color gradient puzzle without a lot of detail in it. And it just got tricky because I would look at a piece, find out where it went, put it on the table, approximately in its correct spot, but then if I accidentally moved it or knocked it or I tried to put another piece in its correct spot and then I'd be like, wait a minute, what is this piece doing here? Where, where does this one go? Eventually things start coming together and connecting and I was like, okay, maybe, maybe it'll be okay. But oh goodness, this, wow, this was tricky. So let's talk about Nicole and Nicole's time. First of all, she did the feathers fastest, six hours, 30 minutes. Then the water drops at seven hours, 18 minutes. Remember, she just does a full sort and then a build. The ribbons took her nine hours and 11 minutes. So right there, that would be kind of like the order of the difficulty of the puzzles. The feathers would be the easiest, then the rain, the water drop, and then the ribbons. So obviously I'm doing my build as I sort technique, which is one of my favorite techniques, but on the more difficult jigsaw puzzle. Now the build as you sort technique, it works great for images with a busy scene and a lot of distinct items like, oh, look, that's part of the car. That's part of the chimney. There's a window. Oh, there's the toys. But here, uh, this is uh, some red ribbon and oh, maybe some blue ribbon. Oh, well, some a bit more shinier ribbon. There wasn't enough detail. 
but I plugged along. Seriously, I stuck with it because I wanted to try to make sure my time would be as accurate for a full build as I sort. But yeah, you're going to see that this one also took me the longest. Now, if I compare my times with Nicole. So, Nicole, for the feathers, it took her approximately 41% longer to do the ribbons when compared to the feathers. So I'm like, okay, hmm. The water drop, it took her approximately 26% longer to do the ribbons compared to the water drop. So looking at my time, and you'll see, like this just goes on and on forever. In fact, I had to pause and take a little break because my GoPro only lasts for so long and I needed to charge it. I should have gotten an extension cable to have it fully plugged in. And I didn't, I honestly didn't think it would take me this long, but it did. And so I had to actually take a break to charge up my GoPro because I was gonna run out of battery. Now, the water drop for me was the, the full sort. It was my fastest at 423. Then my feathers was the full flip at 451. So if my feathers would have been comparable to Nicole's feathers and it took her 41% longer to do the ribbons, it actually took me 48% longer to do the ribbons when compared to the feathers. That's pretty close though in percentage wise. It's 7% different. Now remember the feathers I did the full flip which I still don't think is the optimal choice technique here. So then for her the water drop to ribbons was only 26% longer. So I figured okay I'll probably should be about in the same range unless my technique for the water drop, which was the full sort, would be the best overall technique, especially compared to the build as I sort, which I definitely don't think was the best. But it took me 64% longer to do the ribbons compared to my water drop. So basically, the build as I sort technique took me 64% longer than the full sort technique. And that's really telling. And I think this is definitely specific to color gradient puzzles without a lot of detail. So you're gonna see that timer keep chugging along and chugging along and chugging along. And I tried, I tried my hardest. And eventually I did have to sort the pieces by shape, but I found when I was just down to the solid color pieces and I sorted by shape, it, it wasn't too bad. But also the longer you take at doing the puzzle, you get tired and so you lose you lose steam and that's another factor too so the faster you can initially you know get going with the puzzle the shorter it will be but the longer it takes the more tired you get and the slower you just become oh my goodness so i know that was a lot of numbers and percentages but you're going to see that it's going to take me seven hours and 11 minutes to do this ribbons. 64% longer than the water drop. Whereas Nicole, her ribbons only took her 26% longer than the water drop. That's a significant enough difference that I believe the full sort technique over the build as I sort was definitely a factor in my time. Yes, this ribbons puzzle was more difficult, fine, but I would not expect to see such a big difference in the numbers unless it had to do with the technique. I did not optimize doing this jigsaw puzzle. I do think if I would fully have sorted, it still would have taken me quite a bit longer, but not this long. In fact, see, I'm at the blue, when I get to the blue pieces here, I still try to do my build as I sort. I pull out a piece and I try to figure out where it goes. And then as I'm putting it down on the table, I sort by piece shape. Well, when I get to the point where I've gone through every single piece at least once and they're just there by piece shape, and when I stop trying to pick out pieces and figure out where they go, and I just look at my empty holes on the puzzle and I go, okay, I need a two prong adjacent piece. I need a three prong piece and I just go through those pieces, you're going to see boom, 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 boom. These blue pieces just come together 
so quickly because I'm focusing more on piece shape rather than tr grabbing one specific piece and trying to figure out where it goes. So, oh my goodness, it was so interesting to do and so telling, but I do believe that even the full flip method was better than a build as I sort because the full flip, yeah, you need the room, but then basically you grab out all the pieces of one color. It's like a slower method of fully sorting. Oh, so yeah, what do you think? Did you think the full sort would be the best? Did you think it would take me this long to do my build as I sort? It's so surprising, but yes, this image was just not the best suited for a build as I sort. But I will definitely redo this with different style of images. And now I'm prepared when I have a color gradient without a lot of detail, just do the full sort from the get go. Well, that was quite telling, quite interesting, because I did not expect to take that long to do the ribbons. I wasn't prepared, obviously. I had to stop and charge my GoPro. I think we figured out, at least for me, when it comes to a color gradient jigsaw puzzle without a lot of distinguished detail, the full sort is the most efficient method to do. After that, the full flip is actually better than the build as I sort, but the build as I sort definitely by far was not the best technique. And that's fine, that's what I needed to figure out and do. So I'm very happy that I tried this out on these three jigsaw puzzles. Thank you so much to Nicole for participating along. It was quite interesting to see. Now, I will be practicing for worlds. I have lots of jigsaw puzzles to do, concentrating on Ravensburger brands, specifically 500 pieces. I wanna redo this test with images that are busier, just to see still which method would be best. Now, I think I'm gonna take the full flip method off the table, just because I don't, I don't think I'll ever get there with my, I just don't think I could do it. I don't know, do you wanna see me do the full flip, yes or no? So, I still wanna do the full sort, I wanna do the build as I sort, but I have a new technique that was introduced to me by Vicky Puzzles, the build as I rummage. She leaves all the pieces in the box and just picks out what she wants and starts building. She did kind of pick some out and like maybe make some small piles, but it wasn't like I do where I literally grab a handful, build and sort some pieces. She would pick and choose what she would grab out of the box, leaving quite a few pieces in the box until she wanted them. So I just called it the build as I rummage technique. I think that could be very, very efficient. I saw her do it on her video for the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers and she had a great time. So I'd like to test that out. But let me know if you want to see me still try to do a full flip because I do have plenty of 500 piece Robinsburger puzzles now. They're not exactly the same, but I feel they're in the same kind of style that if there's significant differences in my time, it would be based on technique. And if the times are rather close-ish, then no particular technique was better than another. So I do plan on doing that. Let me know. Do you want to see the full flip? Like, yes or no? But I'm excited to try that build as I rummage. As for worlds, yes, we will start practicing. You know, I'm pairing up with Jeanette from Jeanette and Her Puzzles, and then we're teaming up with Jigsaw Juby and Vicky makes some builds for the team event. We're very, very excited. We're just going to have fun. I've read some comments like, you're gonna be a superstar team, and oh, you'll be the ones to watch at worlds. And I'm like, no, no, we're, we puzzle a lot, and some of us are faster than others, but we're not superstars, <laughs> like, I don't want to disappoint anyone because I, I don't think we'll be the ones to watch. We'll definitely be the ones having the most fun, or at least we're going to try to have the most fun. I'll definitely be the one the most jet lagged, that's for sure, Juby and I. But yeah, we're just going to have fun to finally meet one another and to meet as many people that are there as well that just love to jigsaw puzzle. My personal goal I would love to get my 500 piece Robin's Burger time down under an hour. I don't know if that'll be achievable or possible, but that's what I'm trying to do. And so with practice and the puzzles that I have, 
that's my goal and we'll see if I can get there. I'll probably do compilation videos of two or three puzzles that I've practiced and put a video out, just not one video per puzzle because they tend to be faster because I'm speed puzzling, there's not as much um, during the time lapse and usually there's not too much to talk about during the time lapse. But yeah, that's to come. So leave your comments below let me know do you still want me to try the full flip method yes or no but definitely i'll be doing a full sort build as i sort and build as i rummage so that'll be interesting thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it for the love of puzzles i hope you enjoy my videos please consider subscribing and until next time ciao